I had a weird quitting experience, and it was not in the way that quitting experiences tend to be like dramatized online. I, after college, I graduated from college and I was working at a pizza place and I was like trying to find like a, like a big boy job, like a desk job. And I was interviewing at like insurance companies and all these places. And I ended up getting this random interview to work in the office, like the administrative office of a public charter school, which if you don't know, is a publicly funded school, but is not part of a public school system it's like a one standalone school and we actually had two schools but now that i'm older and i've learned a little more not a thing i'm a big fan of actually but education funding issues aside i got this job and i i, I had a degree in organizational leadership which is basically like how to be a middle manager 101 mm -hmm. um so i didn't i had no training in like how to work with kids or teach kids i did study music education for a year but I got out of that pretty quick. So this was a new experience for me. I worked at this place for a couple of years. It was a crazy school. It was in Cincinnati. It was like, it was not in downtown Cincy, but it was like in the city. It was a K through 12 school. So we had like little kids who were adorable, who were super cute. And then we had like high schoolers who would like bring a switchblade to school and threaten to kill each other in the hallways. We had a whole, the whole range of experience in this one building. And it was really, I learned a lot and it was really stressful, but it was also kind of like a weird school. The people who ran it were like weird. It came, uh, eventually I decided to go to law school and Manny and I were going to move to North Carolina to go to grad school. And so I had to quit, right? But it was like over the summer, the kids were gone. School ended like at the, in the middle of May or something. And when school ended, all the teachers left, but I was supposed to keep coming in and sitting in the office, but I would just go into the school by myself sit in an office by myself and had no one giving me tasks. So like there was some stuff I was supposed to do, but I mostly just browsed Reddit for eight hours a day for five days a week. Like I didn't have the, the, the like principal and people didn't come in. It was, I was the one person in the entire building and I was there cause like uh, once a month, a parent would come in and be like, hey, I gotta fill this paperwork out or something, and I would help them do stuff. But I just literally browsed Reddit, and I br I had a motorcycle at the time. I would just browse this motorcycle forum about, like, how to do an oil change on your 1970 Honda motorcycle, blah, blah, blah. And, and when I came time to quit, that was the situation I was in. And I, like, sent some emails to the higher-ups, and I was like, hey, guys, I'm just giving you my notice. Like, I, I got to quit in a month. I'm moving away for grad school, so I won't be here for next school year, blah, whatever. Never got a response. No one ever came in. It came to the day where it was like, well, we're moving to North Carolina in like a week. And I told them this, I wanted this to be my last day. So I guess I'll just leave my keys on my desk and lock the door behind me on the way out today. <laughs> And that's how I quit my job. <laughs> like, I don't know what happened. The school shut down before the next school year started, if I, re if I remember correctly. So something, I don't know if something happened with the people where they got in trouble or fired or lost funding or what. Well, they didn't have any keys. They couldn't get in. <laughs> <laughs> I only, and I didn't have keys to lots of, I couldn't get into classrooms. I couldn't get in. I could get into the front door, my office, and the bathroom. Those are the only keys I had. But That's the only places you needed to go. Who needs to go anywhere else? Who was still paying you? I don't know. I got, I, my, the payment stopped. That's the thing too. At some point I, it was, it was like a normal job, right? So we got paid every like two weeks, basically. I got my last paycheck that I expected to get. And then I didn't get any more paychecks. So I didn't like steal from these people. I, I, it's not stealing if I didn't do it on purpose, but like they didn't continue to pay me accidentally. I don't know what happened. I tried to like give notice and do that. And I was like, do I need to do any paperwork or do you guys want to, can I help you with anything before I go? What, this can I, I was sort of in charge of some stuff. And I was like, here's my, I emailed them the files. I was like, here's this. I keep track of here's this, this is how I do nothing. I just, I just left one day and I never went back. I don't know if we were cool or if they were mad at me or if someone got arrested or what, but yeah, so I quit and then I just left. No, here's what I think what happened, uh, Bob. This is yeah. what I think. You weren't actually working at a school that was currently functioning. You were contacted by a ghost. <laughs> you went into a haunted bill all because you were locked in your room. You probably heard like students shouting and chatting. It was an old building. Oh, five days at elementary. Yeah, you were you were they were always like footsteps down the hall. 
wall, but you never actually saw anyone. You only went to the bathroom, which like you had to unlock every time you go. And then when you try to quit, you know, you shout out loud to the uh, your boss or whoever, and then you just leave and the door slammed shut behind you and locked itself. And you were just like, well, I guess it's all good. You never questioned the chills down your spine. I thought it was just cold in my office. No, 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 no. Is that the lock of 87 you had to open? <laughs> Uh, 1887, maybe. I will say, <laughs> this was literally a, over a hundred year old building. It was like, it was a school in Cincinnati in the 19th century that had closed in the mid 20th century and then been reopened for, to operate when I worked there. So you thought. In a weird way, you know, Wade made that joke, but your job does sound a lot like the premise for Five Nights at Freddy's. And I think like probably yeah. even the movie coming up is just like, you're just hired on this job. You go in this abandoned building. You just sit around all day. It wasn't abandoned. Okay. During the school year, there were lots of people, I think. You think, yeah. I think, think I saw them. Occasionally <laughs> one person would come to interact with you, but otherwise you were there alone. I was always confused how they got in my office without opening the door, but I just assumed I didn't notice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're haunted.